Bonjour tout le monde, I'm Cassie, your French teacher, so you can learn French the French way. And today I'm going to take you a bit outside, so we can debunk, or not, a few cliches about French people. So if you think that French people are maybe rude or arrogant, well, let's see my take on this. So, t'es prêt? On y va! that I hear all the time is that French people are cowards. I've actually even heard jokes about it. Okay, let's be honest, I, I laughed to the jokes, but no, it is coming from like 20 years ago because France refused to help the US for the war in Iraq. Think whatever you want, it's not the matter here, but that's where these cliche is coming from. Now a cliche that is so true <laughs> is that French people complain a lot. We complain about everything and yeah, we love to debate, we love to challenge ideas. That's the nice way to say it, but we do love to complain. It's like we take off all negative emotions, but that means that even in the vocabulary, we're never really satisfied. So instead of saying something is good, we will say it is not bad. Uh, to say something is clever, we'll say it is not stupid. So we tend to see the negative. French people only talk about food. It is so true. It is so true. <laughs> we love our food, but we just love food in general. Even if it's not only French food, we're actually extremely curious, um, mostly in big cities because we have access to so many different restaurants coming from other cuisine. It is amazing. In Paris, oh my God. <laughs> in Paris, for example, oh my God. So yeah, we're obsessed with food, even For example, during lunch, we're gonna talk about what we're gonna eat for dinner. That's also the moment we're together with our friends, with our family, loved ones. So it is more than just food. Okay, one of the cliches that I did not expect myself was to hear that French people were dirty. Um, I've heard that mostly from American people when I was traveling in Australia. I, I researched into it because I didn't know where that came from. And that came from the Middle Ages or Renaissance because French people, and I guess that should be the same for Italian people. I don't know um, if you're Italian, is there a cliche like that about you? But anyway, it's because we invented perfume. Uh, that was to mask the bad smells. Yeah, but that was centuries ago. I guess it is time to move on. No, we take showers, we take baths, everything. I guess the hygiene in France is top notch. Though I may directly contradict what I said, um, there is another cliche is that French people smoke a lot. And this one, I cannot really defend us, yes. So I'm not a smoker myself. I hate it, it stinks, it, everything is bad with that. Sorry if you're a smoker. Uh, but yeah, in France, people smoke a lot, way more than in other countries from what I saw, but that's how it is. about France that I hear all the time, especially about French people, <laughs> is that we are rude. And I think it is a misconception. First, it comes from Parisian people and not French people. And I'm Parisian, so I know what I'm talking about. But there is that idea, you know, of the waiters and waitress in Paris that are super rude, they don't want to take your order, etc. One thing that I've seen a lot is that there is a difference <laughs> in uh, how we conceptualize politeness in other countries and in France, for example. So to waiters and waitresses, but for all people who work in services, you need to treat them like you would treat a person in the street or even a friend. So you need to be extremely polite. You say hello, you say, oh, sorry, can you help me? You don't ask your question straight away. You don't ask for what you want straight away, okay? It is quite rude. It is like you're not considering their time as valuable as yours. Just bonjour, excusez-moi, that goes a very long way. And they're gonna be more polite. Another thing about Paris, and I know I talked about it with New Yorkers and they understood what I meant, is that it is a big city. It is full of tourists and I love that. I love that people are discovering our city. But sometimes 
we work there. <laughs> I don't work in Paris anymore, but I used to. And when you have tourists in the middle of the street, you know, blocking the way, and you have to go to work, like you're, you're kind of late, and they're there taking their pictures and they just refuse to move. Yeah, we tend to be quite unpolite in these situations. So just realize that where you go to visit and for holidays, other people live there. Once you have that in mind, everything goes perfectly well. And we can move to a cliche that I don't know if it's true or not. It is that French people are lazy. So lazy, I wouldn't say that. We're cleverly lazy. <laughs> you know, it is the art of doing as much as we can with less efforts. So uh, I know this cliche is coming from the fact that we work less. Legally in France, the working week is 35 hours. Uh, it is less in other European countries. But in terms of productivity, we do just as much in less time. So I wouldn't say French people are lazy. They are also the strikes. And for that, yeah, we, we're on strike a lot. Like my first strike, I was 16 years old. But that's how we fight for our rights. So I don't think it's that bad. There are abuses, of course. People are just taking advantage of it, yes. But in general, not a bad thing. Okay, time for me to go home. I hope you'd like to talk about this cliche with me while going outside a bit around Utrecht. So if you liked it, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. Yes, have my phone, of course. Uh, comment what was the cliche you already heard or maybe if you thought about another one and I see you in the next video. Salut!